For the full article on today's video, be sure to check out pixelade.info. Hey guys, what's up? It's Pixel8 here and welcome back to another Sims 4 news and info video. So today's news and info video is going to be part four out of five of SimGuru Grant's original Twitter Q&A. The tweets include, but are not limited to, bisexuality, new cold weather outfits, new cultures, and new interactions. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Sarah Robinson tweets SimGuru Grant, is it possible to add more interactions that aren't object-based, like tag or hide and seek for kids to play together, or is adding more movements too difficult? Grant responds, we want to do these, but multi-sim interactions are basically the hardest thing to get right. I have zero experience in game development and just thinking about that made a lot of sense. Animating one thing is hard, but animating two things that correlate and respond and work together is probably very, very hard, so I completely understand that. And that's honestly probably why we get less interactions that are group interactions. It costs them more money and time to develop things like that for the game. Sims creators community on Twitter tweeted SimGuru Grant, not even asking for a new pack, but how likely would it before you guys to just give us witches in the next pack? Just the occult status and a couple of spells? Grant responds, if we just patch witches with a couple of spells, they wouldn't be very good and I'd get a lot of angry emails. This is a very important thing to talk about guys, we have to make sure when they're developing content, we don't rush them and we don't try to have them give us, you know, cheaper content, make something that should be an expansion pack, a game pack, or a stuff pack. We just need to let them do them so that we get content that functions properly, doesn't have glitches, and is amazing. So if we just give them time, give them space, and let them do their thing, we're probably going to get something that we're very pleased with. Yuna on Twitter tweeted SimGuru Grant, I know this is a lot, but would there be worlds based off Japan, Korea, and China? And would there be jobs such as K-pop, J-pop, and more jobs based of cultures in the future? Grant responds, we want to do more of this. Jack on Twitter tweeted SimGuru Grant, is there a feature in The Sims 4 that was quite technical to get off the ground and release, more so than usual? Grant responds, the gallery, and oh my god, I can agree with that one. I have zero part in creating this game, but I can just tell that the gallery definitely required a lot of resources and probably a lot of money as well. Even recently, when they've updated the gallery and added new features, there were tons of bugs, tons of issues, and the gallery was constantly down for maintenance almost every single day. That's how I could really tell that this was a big thing for them to get right. Blank on Twitter tweeted at SimGuru Grant, The game needs more cold weather clothing. Please, more sweaters. I have to dress all Sims almost the same for cold weather if I don't want them to wear full winter coats indoors. Grant responds, It is tough making clothing for all four seasons at once. We get spread thin. We will try to sprinkle in some more. I really like how this issue was brought up and he's actually taking it into consideration. That's awesome. Paulina on Twitter tweets SimGuru Grant, are you for or against non-realistic content in the game? SimGuru Grant responded, I like a little of it. I think 20% should be more fantastic if I had to toss out a number. Everyone's play styles on The Sims are so different, and that's what makes The Sims so unique. You can honestly do whatever you want. You can mimic the realistic life that you have, or you can create a fantasy life that doesn't exist anywhere. I think about 80% of my game should be realistic, and 20% of it should be non-realistic. What do you guys think? Put your gaming and playing preferences down in the comment section below. Derpy on Twitter tweeted SimGuru Grant, Do you ever think it's interesting at all that Sims are bisexual, or is it just me? Grant responds, it is less they are bisexual, though you can tell that story, and more we try to not in any way get in the way of the stories you want to tell in this area. So technically in The Sims, you can't really have bisexual Sims. Like, you can't have a way that it'll pop up and say that your Sim is bisexual, but due to the way the game is built, having the ability to make your Sim straight or gay does allow you to make them bisexual, because that bisexuality is kind of your choice as the player. You can kind of imagine that for your sims, but technically there is no bisexuality that's programmed in the game. 
What do you guys think? Do you guys think that bisexuality is something that should be programmed in the game as an actual sexual orientation? Leave your responses down in the comment section below. Alrighty, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and add it to your favorites. Subscribe to become a pixelator today and ding the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload any type of video. Wow, I'm talking really, really fast and I can't even enunciate everything correctly. <laughs> Follow me on social media that includes includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Google+, Twitch, and so much more. I love you guys to the moon and back. Click the link down in the comment section below. It will be pinned, or you can head to pixely.info to read the full article and see all of the tweets on today's video and also on other videos. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.